Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl and The Flash. So we're going to be talking about two completely separate things, but I'm going to combine them into this one video. So we got a new scoop, some inside information for The Flash, and also some new updates from Supergirl as they start filming today. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's start off number one with Supergirl. So... Supergirl officially comes back and they start filming today. We may see some photos, but I'm not entirely sure as to what their schedule is when they're shooting outside or if they're just in studio. I presume for the first day or so, you know, they're probably just going to be inside doing some of the easier scenes until they get to the, you know, action scenes outside or the scenes where they have to control a crowd, essentially. So that is happening today, June 27th. So, the last few days we've been getting some photos as all the cast actually returned to Vancouver. So we got this photo on the screen right here. Melissa just said, it's that time again. So, confirming, yes, she's back in Vancouver to film Supergirl for Season 5. And so this photo, which was cleverly spotted out by Super Valor on Twitter, is actually from Season 2. I don't know, I found that kind of very curious that she would post it. Obviously it doesn't mean anything. More than likely, probably Chris took the photo because Chris is actually in this scene because you can see right here, it continues on. It's a scene where Supergirl actually confronts mon -El about his behavior and so on. So I thought that was funny. Just thought I would include that in the video, but that was just her announcement of saying, yeah, I'm back, I'm filming, we're all ready to go. Very excited for what's to come. Okay, so then earlier yesterday, as a test fay who is... Obviously, James's sister, she's going to be a series regular this season. And so they posted this. This was during their dinner last night where they all sort of got together before obviously returning to film the next day. So everyone's back in Vancouver. We have Jesse, we have Nicole, we have Azzy, we have Katie, and we have Melissa all in this one photo. There's like, they're in some sort of bar or someplace. They booked it out. And so this is them having their meeting about what's the come and sort of, I guess, celebrating, I would guess. But she shared this on Instagram and it's just very exciting. And one thing to note, Melissa still has her new haircut. She has the bangs, but lots of people online have been like, is she going to keep it? Is she going to keep that hairstyle? It's obviously very different and it's much shorter. I think they will go back to the normal hairstyle, but I think obviously her hair will be shorter because she cut it. I don't think they're going to like put hair extensions in her or anything like that. I think they're just going to keep it natural, but I reckon she will go back to her normal style. I really doubt that they will keep the bangs and everything. I know a lot of people do want that. I think they will go back to the traditional style. And to be honest, I like both, but I would say go back to the traditional style because I think it's going to be obviously a massive change if she were to continue with this new hairstyle. And those people who don't follow her on social media will be like, hmm, why is Supergirl got different hair? What is going on? I... I guess like normal viewers would be like, hmm, this is not Supergirl, am I watching the right show? I don't know, I feel like some people would be that kind of stupid, like not meaning to be rude or anything. But anyway, so then we went on and we got another photo of this dinner, of this meal. So they're in this room and then you have everyone here. This is from David Harewood. Just wanted to go over these photos because it's very exciting that we're finally getting some content eventually because, you know, we've gone like about a month now since the end of the shows and yeah so David's taking this photo we've actually got Eve returning that's a very big thing Eve is going to be back and that means the Leviathan storyline is going to be continuing on with her so that's very crucial to this and so we have Katie and then we have Kyla which is great because she wasn't in the other photo for a second I was like where is Kyla okay but she's there Azzy, Nicole, Jesse, and Melissa doing that very goofy face. Love it. And I can't really tell who's in the background, but I'm guessing it's the other showrunner. And we have the main other co-showrunner right here. So that was all that happened last night. They were just preparing, basically. And so they are back today, and they are filming. So fingers crossed we get some new content. But Jesse Warren is directing this episode. He has directed many episodes in the past. He's a big Supergirl director. And yeah, so that's all we know for Supergirl right now. So let's move on to The Flash. So we've got some new brand new news as to a new character coming next season. 
And so this is coming from TV Line. This was an inside scoop. So they asked the question, have you heard anything about The Flash's Caitlin Slow having a romantic interest in season six? Then the reply is, a romantic partner? I cannot say for sure, but it looks like both Caitlin and Siska will be making the acquaintance of a fellow scientist since the CW series in addition to casting this new baddie, which obviously was talked about the other day and we'll talk about that in a sec, is busy filling the role of a socially awkward African American genius in math and science who is specifically a bit obsessed with aliens and their tech. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So the question is completely different to the answer, but yeah, the main question and the main answer to Caitlin having a romantic interest in season six, they have no idea. That hasn't been said. That could potentially happen, but that's not really of interest right now until we get answers. But what they do reveal is that Cisco and Caitlin will be making the acquaintance, confirming Cisco is still around. That is a big thing. And they will be making an acquaintance to a fellow scientist who is African American, as they said, and socially awkward, and he's a genius in math and science, and he's obsessed with aliens and their tech. Okay, so this is a bit weird, and the reason I'm saying this is, I would understand if they were doing this, casting this character, if Cisco was gone, but considering Cisco's sticking around, is this Cisco 2.0 for when Cisco goes? They have this character who is, you know, on paper pretty similar to the DNA of what makes up Cisco because he is pretty socially awkward, or at least he used to be. He's a genius in math and science, and he is obsessed by his tech. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not so sure about this, and it also feels like if you go over to Arrow, it feels like this is basically Curtis. It feels like the social awkward thing goes hand in hand with the genius side because it seems like everyone on the CW shows who is a genius is socially awkward because it can't be the same which I don't think is very realistic and I feel like I'm not sure if this is a series regular it may be just someone that recurs and I think it would be re better if this character recurred because we have Cisco and Caitlin who are geniuses in math and science and so another thing to point out is that this person is obsessed with aliens and their tech. For a second I was like, are we talking about Supergirl here? Because the Flash doesn't normally deal with aliens, so it seems like we're dealing with aliens this season, at least in some capacity, maybe in the first few episodes, maybe what's happened over the hiatus, over the summer, in the real world of the TV show, maybe some alien stuff has happened, so he's found some alien tech and he's very interested by it. So I guess that's a little bit different, but the same thing goes with Cisco because he's obsessed with tech. And he's obviously obsessed with tech that they can create. And if there were alien tech, he would be obsessed by it. And obviously you can make the link that maybe they would be friends because they are similar. But for a TV show character, I don't think it's the best idea to have two copies of a character, that being Cisco, and then this new character who are really, really similar when looked on upon paper and, you know, very similar to Curtis. And I wouldn't class Caitlyn under the same thing because she's not that awkward and she isn't obsessed by tech like Cisco is. She is obviously a genius in maths and science, but in a slightly different way and she's not very socially awkward and she's pretty confident, to be honest. So I think this is a little risk and I don't think that... A lot of fans are going to take nicely to this new character if it is very similar. But saying that, I am going in with an open heart, an open mind, because this character could be really great. Just on paper, it sounds very much so like a Cisco 2.0. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about this new character? Do you think it's too similar to Cisco? Do you think it's too similar to Curtis? What is going on in your opinion? Do you want this character? Are you open-minded? Or are you like, no, well, we've got Cisco already. I don't want this new character. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the two different parts of the video, talking about Supergirl returning, talking about some of the photos and the behind-the-scenes stuff going on, and also the Flash stuff and what do you think about all of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.